Hey, this is Anthony Trevor You watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Raptor and Raptor Air Shoe available at Revzilla.com. This is the Raptor. It's polarizing. Why? Because internally here at Revzilla, some of us love the style, some of us like the style. I come down on the side of, yeah, it's kind of badass and it's Italian and I don't mind that they've added some microfiber versus real leather. Others in our camp said for just under the $200 mark, I want to see more full leather and it's a little racy for me. They're looking for a little bit more G-rated. That's okay though. Subjectively, when it comes to the style, moving into the spring of 2018, you make your own call. I will tell you though, when I look at it, this is the air version, fully perforated. There's a non-air version, which is non-perf. There is no waterproof version yet. When we think about just under that $200 mark and we compare it to something like the motor shoe in the Dionese line, you're gonna have to think whether it comes for boot for dollar, if it works for you. That would be my only grip. I'd love to see this maybe 10 or 15 bucks cheaper, but again, from Dionese, personally, I think they've covered aggression here, which is what they do so well, pretty well, with a well-constructed CE-rated riding shoe that you can wear every day. It looks great on the table, in my opinion. Under a pair of boots, I think it looks even better. Now, quick note on fitment. When we look at it, and we put it on, it's not overly narrow to us, but it does have a bit of a European line. I would say if you're overly wide, this isn't the boot for you, but if you're just that normal American foot and you don't think in terms of, is my foot wide, it's probably not too wide and you probably should be fine. Use a side chart, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. I'd love it also if you click our logo, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your question, and your feedback on the Raptor and the Raptor Air, even though I'm really only showing you the Raptor Air today. But you can imagine, what this boot would look like if we take away all the holes. It wouldn't flow as much air. And remember, you can use that perf version, the air version, primarily for two season hot weather riding. I think late spring, all summer, early fall. And the non-perf version, the regular Raptor, is gonna be more of that holistic three season, three, three and a half season riding shoe. And when I look at this, I think of riding around town, lightweight commuting. Again, if you're putting any serious miles, it's really up to you how much support and how much you wanna, how much protection you wanna put on your feet. But what I was pleasantly surprised on is this is a CE rated boot. It is full microfiber and I like the stiff of it. I was expecting it to be way more flimsy. I think it comes in at about a six and a half on the stiff scale, which again offers great support when walking, but also a little bit better than expected support when you're riding on the bike. Now, if we look at it, let's start with the sole. Multi-durometer, multiple traction. It's got, again, a great panel. It's gonna feel good as a sneaker off the bike, but it's what we're expecting. Again, it's more of that crossover style sole. This is an entirely microfiber boot, meaning there's no real leather, it is synthetic. Now, this microfiber feels like great microfiber and don't freak out because we see a lot of manufacturers from Alpine Stars to CCX, all of its competitors, they are using microfiber, which again is a synthetic leather that has no imperfections is typically lighter weight. Where it might be too synthetic looking for your taste is some of the texturized microfiber they use on the lateral side of the toe as you work your way back into the heel. What I do like is I like the Dionese Demon logo up here on the lateral side of the ankle and there is a small ankle cup on the lateral side as well as the medial side on the inside of this boot. And you can see on the inside, it's low profile. It is going to be texturally matte. It does have a little bit of grip to it, again, with the way that it feels. And what I did like about the boot as well, a little bit more flexible in the toe, but they gave you a decent amount of beef here in the heel. So beefy in the heel, protective in the ankle. And again, if we work our way back to the toe, it is tall, it does have reinforcement, but it's not super reinforced. Sometimes we see boots of this style that are slightly more reinforced than the toe, but I'm not gonna knock it a ton of points. If we look at the shift panel, duly recessed stitched, it is done in a rubberized TPR for great grip, and then asymmetrical stitch, or asymmetrical laces rather. They are rounded, notice red on the inside, black on the outside, the fact that they're moved away from your controls, again, matters a lot less on the right, matters some on the left because it's giving you a better chance to keep them away from your controls and your shifter. Now, moving up, you see the way that this is laced. You can lace it all the way up or leave it down. I'm not gonna unlace it, but I am just gonna pop the inside open here. It is an air mesh material meant for wicking. You're gonna see that on both the Raptor Air and the non-air versions. Also note on the back side of the boot, as we work away up from the heel, you do have a pull and that is your only pop of reflectivity. So we look at it, they did work your reflectivity in. Notice the nice cutout for your Achilles tendon as it works its way down into your ankle. But there's your pull, there's your reflective. They didn't forget about it here on the Raptor. So all in, when I look at it, the style may or may not be your cup of tea. It is mine. There's a multitude of colors here available as well. Ultimately, you're gonna have to lock in on, do you love the way this synthetic works within this design aesthetic? 
Again, I like it. When we think value for dollar though, I'd love to potentially see it maybe 10, 20 bucks cheaper, 10, 15, 20. I know gas dynase, they don't get mad at me, but I think that when you compare it within your line, again, it's carrying a bit of a more premium price because it's beautiful, but at the end of the day, value for boot, there might be some more value for boot out there on the market that allows you to save some coin. Do that research, they do exist. And make sure you check out the regular Moto Shoe, which comes in a hair less expensive than this guy does, again, in the grand scheme. The Moto Shoe also, for just over the $200 mark, has a waterproof version as well. If you're looking for waterproof at this stage of the game, you are out of luck. The next step in your journey is to click the info button, desktop mobile device, visit the product detail page at revslow.com, read other rider reviews of the Raptor and Raptor Air. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 30 bucks. You want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and the greatest in the Moto universe. I am Anthony. We'll see you next time.